Good morning. You ready? I'm ready. Uh, you better be ready. I've got questions. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know about you away from the microphone. Okay. Like, I can't believe that that's all that there is to Lars Larson. No, it's not. So both your mom and dad were in the Navy. Yes. Right? Yes. And you were born in Taiwan. I was born in Taiwan. My mother was in the Navy from 1940 to 45 as a Navy nurse. There were some medical records that showed she, she and he probably had six or seven or eight, might have been nine misses uh, before they had me. And uh, Wait, wait, wait. So your mother had eight or nine miscarriages before she had you? And she was... Uh, she was 40 or 41 years older than me, so she'd be 100 today if she were wow. still alive. You were 10 years old when your mother, your whole family, got into a car crash when a drunk driver hit you, and you helped rescue your mother from under this car. She was underneath, not the wheels, but under the body of the car, and uh, my dad got out, and it was snowy, and we managed to either both a combination of him picking up the car and, and shoveling snow out, we pulled her out from under the car, and she died just a few hours, a couple of hours before uh, 1970. So it was, it was New Year's Eve. If your parents have raised you right, and despite my dad's flaws, my mom was a great mom, my dad was a good dad other than the drinking part, they had raised me right, and I thought the best way to make my mother proud of what I was going to do was not to curl up in a ball and fall apart. I took copious notes when I talked to Tina. Um, and we're here at Salty's along Marine Drive and the Columbia because she said this was your very first date. Very first date. All those more than 20 years ago. Yes. So how long were you dating before you actually got married? Uh, we dated for almost two years okay. uh, before we got married. Do you know what else I heard about you? What's that? The only place. I, I think it's safe to say the only place that you are a beta male is with Tina. Do you really want somebody who comes home every night and says, okay, this is the way it's going to be, and I'm going to run the conversation, and I'm going to run all the conversation. So when we're out with friends, I tend to, you know, even at home, but, but it, when I'm out with friends, I tend to step back a little bit to make sure that I'm not sort of the person who's always driving the conversation, controlling the conversation, and th that wouldn't be any fun to be around, not for a wife and certainly not for your friends. Tina says, you've got a story for every place in Portland. Thank you, that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> you have a story for every place. This is why I find... <laughs> no, no, no. You are such a horrid person. <laughs> I'm taking you home. <laughs> I tried. Shut him down. I tried. You kind of softened him, I felt, though. You made him uh, a little soft. Well, I don't know. He's not soft on air, but he is. That's how his wife describes him. It's like a really soft touch. You know, the other thing that she told me, which could come in handy if you're going to call his radio show, she said there's only one way to win an argument with Lars. Oh, wow. Can you guess what that would be? Tell me. To cry. <gasps> oh, I can see and that. And he says... He'll back off. Absolutely. Really? Not oh, even a second thought. I, I never oh, would have wow. guessed that. I want to listen to today's show to see how many people <laughs> call in and start like pouring out their tears. Well, it works according to the <laughs> yeah. people who know him best. Well, what surprised you? Anything, anything else that was really oh, random or caught you um, off guard? He loves sci-fi novels, Game of Thrones. Mm. And again, his wife Tina said his worst habit is eating popcorn in bed oh, and making a huge old mess. No. What? It's not a bad habit. <laughs> do you Tina, do what's too? wrong with that? <laughs> we lay covered so much ground. Is tough. How do you lay down and eat popcorn without choking? I didn't say he laid down. Oh. I just said he was in bed. I, don't, I didn't get that okay. specific, That's Drew. That's a great story. You said the full version is on yes, the website. It's online, and it's up there right now. Just go to okay. kgw.com. Nice